welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you a very simple Python test tool that I, I created and it was created in response to a question and the question was regarding connection limits on Mosquito and you may or may not be aware of this but um, the Mosquito broker runs as a, a normal user called Mosquito and on a Linux system Linux imposes a, a maximum connection limit of 1024 connections for each user. So if you want to go above 1024 you have to go in and make some edits and I covered that in the Linux install on the on the website in the Linux tutorial sorry in the Mosquito install tutor tutorial and I'll put a link in the video description below but this is where I talk about in connection limits and I show you actually how to look at the limit and how to change the limit and so I created this tool basically to test that I'd actually the changes did take effect and so let me show you the tool and let me show you how it works so this is the script start here um, now I've used this to for testing on the, the ADS broker and on the mosquito broker and then my mosquito broker that I'm currently using is actually running on a Raspberry Pi and the tool will actually test um, secure sockets connections and also normal connections and you can see here I can configure the number of uh, SSL connections and the number of normal connections. I'm just going to set that to zero and I'm going to set the normal connections to 10. And then we have a message interval that you might want to configure here. This basically they often we send the, the messages, or sorry this is the space between messages. and you'll find that as you decrease this further it makes no difference and you'll see when we run the tool that I give you approximate uh, message message rate uh, when you're sending the message and the client will actually uh, have a limit so eventually you'll find that you, it doesn't matter how, how you reduce this it has no effect on the actual sending rate and the number of loops we're going to run and the message we're going to send and the topic we're going to send on. So this is all adjustable by you. I am created a, um, a front end for this, so you, everything is done through the IDE. You have to, I mean, you can obviously run it from the command line, but I run it through the IDE because you have to make the changes for the edits uh, manually. So there's there's no command line input for this, uh, but you can always add it. So this is basically a test tool and it's not actually a production tool okay so let's go down to the function here create connections this is the one that does make most of the work it creates a, a connection for SSL and it creates one for uh, normal clients basically uh, clients without SSL and you can see here this is where you need to set your certificate path if you're using it. If you're not using, if you set the SSL clients to zero then this is of no consequence. You don't need to bother with this. And I run a multi-loop because I'm creating lots of clients and I'll show you with um, over a thousand simultaneous connections. Then I can't run a thousand threads for the, each of those client connections. So I actually run a multi-loop in this one loop basically it starts in a different thread and it runs a loop for all of the clients you can see here it runs through all the clients and then we come down to here we created the connections and then we run a loop and what I do is I actually uh, I send a message counter and I also send the time of the message so when we send the message we send the time with it the message comes back and when it comes back I pull out the time and that I can compare it with the current time so we know how long the message took to go and come back again. Okay, so let's give it a go. Okay, so let's give it a go. So we create the 10 clients and we start publishing messages and you can see here that I published the message rate which is about 66 messages a second and then we have the maximum time and the, the minimum time 
and we have an average time for these messages for these 10 messages going out and then we do a second run and you can see the a similar result there so very very simple and again at this time I'll create some SSL connections so I'm going to use 10 SSL connections and 10 normal connections so we run the script creates the the normal connections and then it creates the SSL connections and notice the, the client names if you were to run uh, two of these scripts then you'd obviously have to alter the, the naming so they, they didn't have uh, the same names And there we, we finished. I'm just going to set this back to zero and I'm going to adjust the message interval and if I adjust it I won't demonstrate this but if I adjust it any lower than this it won't make any difference the the client is limited on that uh, I'll just adjust it to 0 0.1 so it's a, a tenth of a second tenth of a second between messages and you can see uh, roughly 10 messages a second is what I'm sending okay so let's show you what this was actually originally written for and we're going to use a thousand connections While it's doing that, I just thought I'd show you the broker perspective of this. You can see here, you, I'm creating the client connections here. I create a connection and then I subscribe on, on a topic and the topic has got the same number as the actual client connection. And this is so that I can actually publish and receive messages on that, on that topic. Okay, we can see here it's finished. We got a thousand connections, and once it reached a thousand connections, it started sending messages, and it actually sent a thousand messages. And only got eight hundred fifty-six back, and I sent with a quality of service of zero, and you can see here the brokers dropped some messages, and on the second run, it dropped even more messages, and I've tested this with um, five hundred, and it worked okay at this message rate, and some so somewhere between five hundred and a thousand clients. Um, at that message rate it starts to fail but the reality is for most uh, people using Mosquito or most people r running ADIS um, you're not going to have so many connections and your message rate is probably not going to be as high as that anyway so you can test this with various message rates by um, increasing the interval between, between messages and decreasing the number of connections but there it is, um, a very simple Python test script for testing uh, connections and for those of you setting up brokers on the local networks or on edge networks and are worried whether the broker can actually cope with the number of connections you expect, uh, it's a nice little tool to reassure you all um, otherwise that the broker can handle what you, what you expect. It's not a benchmarking tool but it will give you a rough idea of the broker performance or the expected broker performance. Uh, it's available for download in the description below and I will be making more videos uh, on broker test tools if people are interested so please leave your comments below. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you say you got any comments then leave them below. If you like the video then click on the like button below if you'd like to get notified of new videos on the channel, then click on the subscribe button. Until next time, goodbye.